In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to model a basic sink in AutoCAD. Um, and to begin, all I'm doing is drawing uh, the profile of the sink is. Actually, I'm going to draw the profile of only half of the sink, and you'll see why um, that's important later. Um, so I just draw the profile with a polyline. Um, I'll offset, or at least I'll, I'll, I'll uh, round over the corners to, to soften out the edges uh, of the sink and then I'll offset uh, for the thickness the, the thickness of, of uh, the sink I'm just making as uh, an eighth of an inch um, just to give it some depth and so that when I extrude it it will be a solid so what I'm going to do is I drew that uh, based on the world UCS and now I'm rotating it vertically um, next I'm going to draw a path and it's only going to be half of the path or half of the perimeter of the sink along that um, horizontal plane then I'll be able to use the extrude command and extrude along a path selecting that path I just drew to basically generate half of the sink um, the sink is symmetrical so there's no reason to do the whole thing um, so I'll model half of it and then I will mirror it across its center line so that um, I have a complete sink. Here I'm just refining uh, the, the, the extrusion path by just rounding over the edges so that I get a rounded uh, corner at the top of the sink and there you have um, the half of the sink and so I'll mirror this across to the other side so that I have uh, the full sink and then I will union the two halves together so that it becomes one object. Additionally, since I have two halves of the sink, I can, I can fine tune the size of it if um, I needed to. So um, I can move one half uh, a little bit further away from the other half and that way I could uh, change the proportions of the sink and then uh, once I'm happy with the, the size, the proportion and the look I'll union it so that it becomes one object. Um, you don't really have to union it I suppose but um, by unioning it you don't see those uh, additional uh, joint lines where the two halves kind of came together so um, uh, that's the reason why I chose the union it. Here I'm going to model just a basic faucet um, and the two control valves and I'm just really simply just using uh, circles and I'll extrude the circles up to a certain height. Um, I'm just going by you know memory and you know what a sink uh, faucet would look like. Um, if you wanted to model something that was more accurate then obviously you would pick find a picture and then um, or use uh, an actual faucet that you have in your home and actually take measurements off of that. Um, here I'm just modeling some you know various round forms to to appear like it's a buildup of of the the faucet um, and I'll basically do the same thing with the, the control valves. Now when I model the actual uh, outlet of the faucet, I'm drawing uh, a P-line very similar to what I did for uh, the sink. I draw a P-line, in this case I'm starting with the path. Um, I'm just drawing the, the, the outlet, I'll round over the edge, uh, the corners of the path so that it looks um, more like the curved end of the outlet. Um, and then once I have that, I will use my 3D rotate uh, command and rotate that so that it's vertical. Because if you look, see the way I drew it, I drew it flat along the XY plane and now it really has to be um, oriented vertically, right? Uh, so I take my 3D 
rotate and rotate along that axis so that it's vertical then I will move it in place uh, directly over uh, where the sink would be and then once I do that that's basically the path of of the faucet and it's just very simply drawing a circle that defines the profile uh, for the the outlet and then I will use again my extrude command and instead of doing a straight extrude I will extrude it using a path and I will select that uh, polyline with the curve in it as the path and very quickly um, you'll you'll see the the faucet take shape so that would be the, the outlet of the faucet and then I'll do the same thing for the the control valve so I just draw a couple of uh, guidelines um, from the center of where the faucet is that way I can locate roughly where the control valves would be uh, and it's just a matter of uh, a circle extruded circle and a a box um, I could get more detail with it but you know for this purposes it's just you know a, a general form um, and again for our purposes this this is more than adequate if you wanted to get more detail then obviously you would draw uh, these shapes and forms that define these objects with much more detail um, and uh, that's part of uh, the development of, of building these skills so but this is just the, the basic um, uh, modeling of, of these of these objects And so that's the control valve. And to um, create the cold water valve, um, all I did was mirror it across the midpoint of the sink because it's symmetrical. And there you have it. That is a basic sink. Now, obviously, your sink might be a little bit different, but the techniques are basically the same. Um, and again, it's fairly simple. Drawing polylines uh, for paths and for the shape and then extruding them.